Hey everyone, my name is Tasia. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're going to be doing the reveal for our Kawaii subscription. This is a monthly subscription, although it is not like our monthly subscription. <laughs> we have two subscriptions, the monthly subscription and then the Kawaii subscription. Both of them are reoccurring monthly, but the monthly subscription is month specific. This one, however, the Kawaii subscription is uh, just random fun. It's either seasonal or uh, just like a cute theme like this one is. So if you're someone who doesn't really like the wacky holidays or maybe isn't in to having say green St. Patrick's Day for your whole month of March uh, then this would definitely be the way to go. Signups for this kit are available from the first of the month through the 10th so that's going to be February 1st through February 10th. After that the subscription signups will close and the kits will ship between the 15th and the 17th. Another fun thing about this kit is that it's unique to the subscription so you won't find this kit for sale in the shop. The monthly items, they do come to the shop. These ones do not. So if you really love this theme, I highly recommend that you sign up. Sometimes I'll take elements from it and bring it to the shop, or maybe I'll do a slim down kit a year from now, uh, but the kit in its entirety is exclusive to the subscription. If you're already signed up, automatic charges happen on the 11th, and then again, everyone's kits ship between the 15th and the 17th of the month. I think that's all the details. I hope that wasn't too confusing. I'll put a link in the description bar down below. It'll take you to the website and we have a little Q&A there with the common questions between the two subscriptions as well as the prices and the, all the different sizes. There's six different sizes that you can choose from. We're gonna be going through all of those sizes in this video, um, so let's get going when i started designing this kit uh at first it was typewriters i was like i want to do something with typewriters and so i named it just my type and there are typewriters in it but then it kind of morphed into like this cute desk stationary planner stickers what like it spiraled <laughs> So the kit is called Just My Type, um, but it features more than just typewriters. I'm really excited for it. So first we're going to do the vertical and the horizontal. If you are new to the sizes of the kits, I do have a size chart on the website, so I'll have everything written out for you, but I will go through all of it here. Um, for the vertical and the horizontal, your jumbo sticker is going to be the same size, and that's a 5 by 7 and so you have the overview of your desk, and it just says, per my last email, no. <laughs> Isn't that the worst when you have to like reiterate what you just said in your last email? So this is no. <laughs> it's printed on our removable matte vinyl. So if you did want to stick it to something, you could. I like to stick it to something hard like a cardstock and laminate it. And then that way I can use it like as a dashboard or a pencil board or a little divider type of thing. Um, or you can just stick it to a blank page. That's always fun. So five by seven jumbo sticker. For page number one, you have all of the fun little elements. So you have stickers to remind you when the kit is paid and when the kit ships. So once you're signed up, if it's the first time you're signing up, your charge is going to happen on the day that you sign up. But going forward, after that, the charges happen on the 11th. Um, so you have that, and then when the kits ship, typically they ship on the 15th, but if the 15th falls on the weekend or a holiday or something like that, that's why there's a little bit of wiggle room. Uh, you have your fountain pen, your typewriter, your cute little desk accessories. I love having like a little cute little planter and your little folio filled with all of your favorite things and your planner stack and your little faux washi um, so that is page number one and all of these stickers they lean more towards the jumbo size in um, they're they're bigger than the normal size stickers which are really great for decorating so that's page number one Page number two, you have your list headers and it features our color scheme for this month. And this is the color scheme. I think it's really pretty. It's perfect for kind of rolling into spring. So it's gonna feel springy in your planner, but it's still gonna have all of these other cute elements. So the headers for both the vertical and the horizontal are one and a half inches wide. Uh, you can use the headers for more than just list headers. I like to use them as dividers or sometimes I'll layer them to make things pop um, if I'm using them in 
I don't know, like my Hobonichi cousin, I put this behind the date uh, and that way it just, it just looks really pretty. So lots of different things you can do. And then you have your this week stickers here on the bottom. For page number two, you have your blank schedule, some quarter boxes, and some more decorative pieces. So the main difference between the vertical and the horizontal is gonna be the height of the full boxes. So the vertical full boxes are 1.9 inches tall while the horizontal is 1.65 inches tall. So it's just slightly shorter, but it really makes a difference when it's in your planner. So again, you have all of your cute little decorative pieces, and these are gonna be like those jumbo decorative pieces. I think that pen cup is so cute. Page number four, you have all of your checklists. Again, the only difference is gonna be the height. And um, I really love this style checklist because you can trim it to whatever space you're working with or whatever list you're working with. If you only have, say, three things going on, you can just chop it right there. And it looks like it was supposed to be that length. Um, when I'm working in my planner, I really like to use something like this. It's just a little blade. I think I got this on either Jet Pens or Kawaii Pen Shop. Um, but if you just use like a sharp edge, like a straight edge, and you just cut it, super easy. Or you can just use scissors. <laughs> so that's page number four. Page number five, you have all of your full boxes. So we have some decorative ones, some functional ones. I thought it would be pretty to make it look like this little quill pen wrote the words. So um, you have remember and important, and then you have some really cute full decorative boxes. And then you have your little postcard. That reminds me, the bonus item hasn't come in yet. It's supposed to come in today. I missed the delivery from UPS, but it, so it will be here on Monday. So it's definitely gonna be included in the subscriptions. Every size, no matter what size you choose, you're gonna get one. And it's a really cute postcard. I'm trying to pull it up on my phone here so I can show you a picture because it is really cute and it's an actual postcard. So you know how we include the journaling cards in our orders, but the backside has like promotional information on it. This one is going to have the information or the space for you to actually write your message and all of that kind of good stuff. So let me pull that up on my phone here. So the postcard's gonna be a four by six and it says, hello friend, and it's gonna be so cute. Look at Poe's sweet little face and then you have the little typewriter and then the backside looks like, well, it's gonna look a little better than this because it's gonna be on a card, but <laughs> there's the divider line to split your message and the address and then you have your cute little pen in the corner. Um, but it's gonna be really cute and it's gonna be included in all of the different sizes. So that's, that's that. Let's move on to page number six. Page number six, you have more decorative boxes. I love this one, just says keep going. I write my own story. So I was like going into journaling and planning and just everything that we really love. I don't think we're just limited to planning here in the planning community. I think we just have like this general love for all things stationary and pens and paper and all of that kind of good stuff. So that's page number six. Page number seven, you have a whole bunch of fun icons. All of the icons here on the top are itty bitty, which means they stand at a half inch or less, and that's gonna be the same through all the different sizes. And then you have these little larger decorative ones here. They're gonna be sized according to the planner, um, like the, the kit size. Um, but let's do a little close up here. And then you have some typography there on the bottom. Page number eight, you have your weekend banners, your blank habit trackers, and your quarter boxes. Number nine, you have all of your half boxes with the really pretty scallop. And so the half boxes are one and a half inches wide still, same as like the full column, and then an inch tall. Page number 10, oh, I have an avalanche going on here. <laughs> Page number 10, you have all of your date covers with the cute little typewriters. And then you just put your little date numbers in the day. And then for the bottom washi, I don't know what it was, but I made like this little plus sign um, and I really liked it. So I turned it into a pattern and I think it's just really fun. It's really universal. It doesn't stick you to a certain time period in the month or the year so you can use it anytime and you get four weeks worth of that. But that's the 
the pattern there. And then next up, let's do the print pression size. We're gonna go a little quicker. The print pression, this is for the print pression weeks, which is the same size as the Hobonichi, it's like that long skinny planner. Um, the stickers in this kit are going to be the same size as the horizontal when it comes to the full boxes, which means it's 1.65 inches tall and one and a half inches wide. There are a few differences uh, in the kit, and so I'll point those out. The first one being, of course, the jumbo sticker is sized to fit the planner. So again, it's still that per my last email. Um, page number one is going to be all the same. Page number two is a little different. You have your headers, and then you have some extra quarter boxes. Since the planner is a little smaller, I feel like the quarter boxes really come in handy. And then you have your this week stickers there on the bottom. Page number three is gonna be the same. I really love this design. I feel like you could kind of piece it together and use some of the decorative pieces in other layouts, uh, which I thought would be really kind of fun. You know when you have leftover kits, I feel like this one would be easy to incorporate into other layouts. Page number six. Simon with all of his happy mail. Page number seven. Number eight, you have your weekend banner, your blank habit tracker, and your quarter boxes. You have your half boxes, your date covers, and then the bottom washi is definitely different. It's sized to fit the planner. So you have four weeks worth of washi and then some extra half boxes there. So that is the print pression weeks. Next up we have the cousin, and this is for the Hobonichi cousin. The jumbo stickers are five by seven. The sizing of these stickers, so instead of one and a half inches wide, they're gonna be 1.31 inches wide, so slightly skinnier, and then 1.66 inches tall, so just a tiny bit taller than the horizontal. Um, so even though you may not have a cousin planner, that dimension may work for you. This is page number one. You're gonna have all of the same stickers. They're just sized accordingly. So again, these are gonna be a little shorter in, in width. Page number three. You have your checklists. And I make the checklists a little skinny so that way it can fit in that little column with the, uh, the times. It just works out really perfect. And then you have your full boxes. Get a little closer there. All of your little icons. Your weekend banner, your blank habit tracker, and your quarter boxes. When it comes to the Hobonichi Cousin, so these stickers are sized to fit the uh, weekly layout. So the week on two pages. Could definitely use it on the daily layout as well. Personally, when I'm in the Hobonichi Cousin planner, I like to use these for, of course, the weekly. Um, but when I'm on the daily, I like to use the vertical planners because I want my stickers to be bigger. And then you have your bottom washi. So four weeks worth of that. And that is the Hobonichi Cousin. Next up, let's do Hobonichi Weeks. If you're familiar with the Hobonichi Weeks, you know the layout is really unique. So the stickers are going to look a little different. The jumbo sticker, again, size to fit. You have page number one. Your date covers are those long strips and so they just go in the planner like the layout. <laughs> and then you have your this week stickers. Your blank schedules, they are nice and long so that way they will fit on the right side of the planner really nicely. And then you have of course your decorative stickers. Your cute little check boxes or your little scallop checklists your deco, so the same stickers, just laid out really differently. All of your little half boxes. The full boxes, these would work on either the right or the left side of the planner. If you did put it on the left side of the planner with the date, it would cover the date, but it looks really cute. And if you wanted to trim it, a lot of these have like a little bit of wiggle room where you could trim it. It would offset the design a little bit, um, but it would still look really cute. I'll just do a little close up. Page number seven. You have your blank habit trackers, your weekend banners, four weeks worth of washi. 
And then for the last page, you have some top washi and then some of the stickers that couldn't make it into full boxes because of it just looked funny. Uh, I just made them into jumbo decorative pieces. So that's page number 10. Last but not least, we have the itty bitty kit and the itty bitty is real tiny. Um, it is designed with no real planner in mind. It's just made for those small planners. And so the uh, columns are, or excuse me, the full boxes are just an inch wide and then they're 1.27 inches tall. So definitely the smallest kit we have in regards to the sticker sizing. You still get a ton of stickers though. You're getting all the same stickers, just really small. The jumbo sticker is a four by six. Page number one. You can just tell with my finger how much smaller things are. These are still jumbo in relation to the size of the planner, but they're definitely not as big as, say, the other one. So you'll notice, like, this planter, for example, is smaller in the itty bitty than it is in the Hobonichi. Um, that way, they're just an inch wide. Page number two, you have all of your list headers, your this week stickers. You have your blank habit trackers, all of your decorative pieces, your checklists. All of the same full boxes. Again, they're just small. Look at how cute they are, just like <laughs> compared to my finger. Uh, but they're all the same. Page number seven. Number eight is your weekend banners, your blank habit trackers, and your quarter boxes. You have your half boxes, your date covers, just the cute little typewriters, and then a full sheet of washi, so four weeks worth of washi. Um, but that is it, you guys. Again, all of the kits are going to come with those um, that postcard. Uh, when I do get it in the mail, I'll be sure to show it on social media. So if you follow me on Instagram or if you're in the Facebook group, I'll be posting it there. Um, Sign-ups, again, are available from the 1st of the month through the 10th. After that, the kits uh, will ship between the 15th and the 17th. I hope you guys enjoyed the design. I think it's really fun and cute and just perfect for that kind of lull of months. You know where there's those months where there's not really much going on or maybe you're not really into what's going on? I think this is going to be perfect. So that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!